What's up everyone, my name is Akeem Henry. Welcome to Mission of Medicine and thank you for checking out my channel today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and smash the like button and at the end of the video, hit that notification bell because I'm sure you want to come back for some more. If you haven't already heard about it, I have announced this big giveaway that I am doing. Once I have reached 10,000 subscribers, please help me get to this goal. Once we reach 10,000 subscribers, I am giving away MCAT prep books. I have an extra set of Kaplan prep books for the MCAT you know this is an important exam so anybody could get their hands on his books you guys would be very very lucky because it's gonna be completely free so please 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 help me get reach my goal of 10,000 subscribers and then uh, one lucky person will get those MCAT prep books next I am announcing my comment winner of the day the comment winner is Jimmy he said Minor setbacks for major comebacks. You got this, bro. He commented on my MCAT results video. I appreciate you, Jimmy. That means a lot coming from you. I actually know him personally. So it was cool to see him that he watched my video and he left that positive comment. Thanks, Jimmy. Today, I am discussing how I use my iPad Pro to study and to make myself a more efficient and productive student. There are three apps that I use. I use Anki, Notability, and iStudies Pro. These are three great apps that help increase my productivity level and help streamline my studying process. So this is the iPad Pro. So I go here, this is the first app, Anki. So Anki divides up your flashcards by decks. And this is a way to actively learn material, to learn the material instead of just passively learning it in lecture. So while I'm in lecture, I type my flashcards up while listening to the professor, listening to those key details and the words that the professor says. So I ask my question, how does hydrophilic molecules cross hydrophobic membranes? So this is basically testing to see if I remember this stuff. And if I don't, I just don't and I click it. And then you have two options here. I have two options. I have 10 minutes and one day. And that's the green and the red. So if I don't, I didn't remember this information, then I would hit red and then it showed me again in 10 minutes. So I would just keep doing this as I go along. Here it is presented to me again. This is, I have the ability to just add the notes as a regular flashcard front and back, like a traditional flashcard, or I could just add it in, add in lecture notes, and then blank out a certain part that I wanna memorize as I have here. And that information is in the brackets. So I, if I don't remember that information in the brackets, I click it, and then I have the options again, one minute, 10 minute, four days. If I really know it, then I hit four days to remind me in four days. If I don't really know it so well, then I say 10 minutes. And if I really, really don't know it, then I hit one minute, show me again one minute. So that's how I use Anki to actively learn and engage with the material, which is really good instead of just passively learning it. The other application that I use is Notability. Notability is a great app because I'm able to organize my lecture notes by different uh, course subjects. So here, over here in the right, I have all the different subjects that I'm taking for my fall semester of 2018. And so for cell biology, we did a review lecture today. And here, as you can see, I have my notes. But what's really cool about Notability is that I'm able to record the lecture and the lecture notes are in sync with the text. So as I type, it's syncing up with the recording. So if I type one word and I don't type out everything that's being said or everything that's on the lecture note or on the board, I'm able to go back to the notes and listen to the recording of what the professor said at that time to fill in the details. Additionally, um, Notability has the ability to search, search for information that was stated. So if I wanted to search for a certain word in, that I typed up, so let's say, let's look for blood. I can, it will, so I typed in blood and it shows search results of seven. So it's like command F like on a traditional desktop. And then I'm able to look and find all the highlighted blood in the document. And what's even more sweet is that you can look up handwritten notes that I hand wrote. So I hand wrote Akeem and it was able to find that as well. So not only does it have the ability to look for text information, you can also look for the handwritten notes. Other cool little things is you can highlight, you can add pictures, GIFs, figures, and I'm even able to send it to 
um, you know, as email, Google Doc, Google Drive, print it, air, airdrop it, or send it to other apps. My school uses Canvas to upload our assignments to the web that our teachers are able to grade. So I can just upload it to Canvas and it's easy. Everything's streamlined. And I can insert pictures into the document and write captions for them, bold, underline. Notability is really a great application. It's really increased my productivity and made me just be on task. The other app that I use finally is iStudies. iStudies Pro is a great app because it keeps me organized. I have all, it's like a planner. I have all my classes in this planner. I have my midterms that when they're coming and it notifies me when those exams are and when I should start preparing. Uh, shows me what my week looks like so I can be that and I also have this app on my phone so I get push notifications to my iPad and to my phone when I get when I have assignments due or when I have a class coming up so this is a great app to use when you're a student and just trying to streamline everything if you're going electronic with your uh, studies so I just got done going over how I use Anki Notability and iStudies Pro these are productivity apps that I use they're great they have enhanced my note-taking skills. They have enhanced my organization skills. They have just overall made me a more effective student. If you have an iPhone or an iPad, I would just employ you to just download these apps, give them a try and see if they help you become a better student. And if not, you know what, just stick to the regular paper and pen. Nothing's wrong with that. I still do that sometimes. But you know, hopefully this video was helpful for you. Please come and visit my channel, join the Med Nation family. You're already kind of, you're already there, but you're not there yet. You got to subscribe and you got to like and got to hit that notification bell to be part of the Med Nation family. I have an ongoing giveaway going on right now. I am giving away MCAT prep books. Once I have reached 10,000 subscribers, please help me reach that goal. I can't wait to get there so someone can get these MCAT prep books that's just been sitting in my room collecting dust. So I hope that could be you. Please subscribe to my channel and I see y'all soon. Peace.